All right, hey everybody, Julian Marchese here. Uh, I had a little comment on my blog, and uh, someone was asking, yeah, well, he was into day trading futures and forex, and he was wondering how to draw custom profiles uh, on a bar chart using Market Delta or Investor RT, just uh, just to see, I guess, where value is, and just to go over what the custom profile uh, shows you. I'll just draw one over here for example it shows you where the most volume was traded and w where the upper and lower extreme is and where the most volume is traded 50% will be highlighted red and you could change the colors if you want and where the most uh, trades occurred is the green line and what I use this for is when markets break out of these balances that form and come back and retest high volume those are some uh, entries for specific trades. So he was just wondering where, when and where to use them. And really they could be used on all time frames. For example, this is a 30 minute time frame and when you draw these profiles it's depending on what time frame you're looking at. Uh, not time frame of the bar chart. Are you looking to make a one or two day trade or are you looking for an hour trade? If you're looking at an hour trade, these profile files are good to look at in the five minute and 30 minute time frames. However, if you're looking for a bigger trade, the 30 minute to daily charts are the best to look at these profiles. So what I look for to draw these profiles are a range. So I see really on this chart two ranges. Uh, one in from about 1070 to 1085 and it started at about Wednesday to Monday over here and one that started late Monday from 1085 to 1098 which proceeded to break down so what I would do is I would see where they start that range which was started right about here draw it to where the range, range broke out and you could see it right there that's the range you're looking at. You can see the high volume is right in the 1080s. You can see a lower extreme here and an upper extreme here. And the other range is right over here and you can see where it. Uh, I drew this one previously. And you can see how we use this information is when we broke down, oops, sorry guys, when we broke down this bounce area over here this one right over here you could see the bar that it broke down on retested the high volume see that very clearly and then it broke down so that would be an entry to get short initiatively with high volume and you could see that happened um, but all this is showing really is that value shifted higher and then we had some bad reports at 830 and you could see it wiped right through the high volume over here which usually means a test of the lower extreme which happened and you can see right now we are actually forming another little range over here and you could draw a profile there but that's that's really how you use these profiles you just look for ranges and then you draw these profiles to see where the high volume was for example we have another range up over here you can see I'll just draw a little profile over here and there you go you can see uh, the high volume is in around the 1120s and the market proceeds to fall, fall out of it. And it just shows a migration of value. So I just want to let you guys know in the previous video I showed you guys my new blog. It was 14 year old futures day trader .blogspot .com. That has now been changed instead of blogging on blogspot. <laughs> now I'll be blogging on seeking alpha and my username is JUL0625. And on Seeking Alva, if you don't know what it is, it is a site where millions of traders, literally a month, four million to be exact, go and discuss their ideas of the economy, futures, stocks, options, really everything. And I'll be going over, you know, the stock market, futures. I'll also be going over stocks and options. I'll go be going over day trading, swing trading, really, really everything, all the works. And I'll be, you know, looking at it through regular technical analysis and through auction market theory, which is what I use uh, in the day trading time frame. Um, so, you, you know, guys, check that out. It's SeekingAlpha.com. I'll obviously post the link in the sidebar below. Uh, my username is JUL0625. And, uh, you know, if you look at my picture on the left-hand side when you click the link there, uh, 
right below it will say instant insta blog and that's where you will click to see all my blog posts and right below that there's going to be something called stock talk which is where I go over well not go over it's like Twitter I just I just post what I'm looking at the market currently so you could re you guys can really see in real time what I'm looking at and what I think is setting up like for example the last post I made in the insta blog and on the stock talk was I think financials in the stock market so you know AIG Wells Fargo JP Morgan those types of stocks um, I wrote that they might come into play tomorrow possibly uh, next week possibly to the downside so you could really see what I'm looking at whenever I post these uh, sort of tweets but in a financial website so thanks for watching this video guys so make sure to check out my uh, new blog in Seeking Alpha it's a great site you guys should join too and one more thing guys this is just an example of uh, well, this is my profile, so you can see the link up here once again, and you could also see my username is jwell0625. This is my picture over here, and down below, you can see Instablog and Stock uh, Talk. So click one of these two to see um, my uh, my latest, I guess, tweets, you could say, and my thoughts on the market. My Instablogs will obviously be much more informative than my Stock Talks, but my Stock Talks will go over things in real time. So, for example, my latest stock talk down here, financials are definitely going to be in play next week. Uh, I'll be watching Wells Fargo, AIG, and JP Morgan. And you can see when you click this link up here, brings you to a nice chart of what I'm seeing in the uh, XLF, which is the financial index of the S&P 500. Now, what I want you guys to do is... I want you to click follow over here so I could get a little following. You can see I added, I just got into Seeking Alpha today. I obviously have zero followers, so I want you guys to click follow right over here. It would be really appreciated. I'd like to uh, try and get known on this website. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching this video.